We've created a fluid where the effective mass of the fluid is negative. So what this means is when you push a regular object in a direction, it tends to accelerate in the direction that you're pushing it. You push a ball or a car and it moves away from you. But in this fluid, when you push the fluid, it actually accelerates in the wrong direction. That means its mass is behaving as if it's negative and it accelerates towards the pushing force. And that happens how? So what we do is we take some rubidium atoms and we cool them to some of the coldest temperatures anywhere in the universe. And they form what's called a superfluid. It's just a quantum fluid and this fluid has interesting properties, but it has normal mass. Then we shine some light on this fluid, and it's in the presence of these laser beams that when you push the fluid in one direction, it moves in the other direction. So microscopically what's happening, it is because of these external laser beams. They give it a kick and they cause the particles to move in the opposite direction from the push. But when you look at it as a whole, instead of at a particle level as a fluid, it's completely consistent with the description that the fluid is behaving with a negative mass. Right. And as soon as you said the word quantum, alarm bells began ringing in my head because, forgive me for the use of the technical term, but I mean, am I right in saying that quantum mechanics tends to mean, or the quantum world tends to mean that things behave in crazy ways? Yes. Behavior is very non-intuitive because it's happening at a level that we are not accustomed to experiencing in daily life. But it's the physics that underlines almost everything, including electronics, and you need quantum mechanics in order to describe all aspects of physics. The idea of these quantum systems that we're looking at, these cold atom systems, is that they can be a simulator for many other physical systems where quantum physics is relevant. So for example, I also work on nuclear theory, and I have interest in neutron stars, which is some of the densest matter in the universe. But it's so far away that it's very difficult to probe it, and we can't make it here on Earth. However, these cold atom systems can simulate the behavior of neutrons in a neutron star, which are also a superfluid. And so we try in the laboratory to develop techniques and tools for studying these systems that there's really no other way of studying experimentally. So we can understand properties of cosmology, nuclear reactions, etc.